The Grand High School community is coming together to honor one of their football players who was shot and killed Friday night. KCRE 3's Michelle Dapper sat down with the head coach, Mike Albergini, to find out how the healing process is going. You know, to have them almost expire when you're there with them and, you know, you're pleading for them to hang on. The Grant community grieving the loss of one of their own this week. This community is a beautiful community. The Pacer family mourning the death of a former football player. Long live JJ Clavo. Taking it one week at a time. Grant Union uniting as one to cope with the tragedy. Renews your faith in man, you know, that all these people have responded. Head coach Mike Albergini with a historic feat on Monday night. Becoming the winningest large division coach in the San Joaquin section. They play with such tremendous emotion, you know, and all the people, the teams that circle the field. One of the most beautiful days in my life. All history aside, the real victory, a tribute to a life lost. We just want to make everybody happy and be able to honor him in the same time. Albergini remains a constant in the lives of these young athletes. Anytime you're somewhere for 47 years, you know, you believe that's your neighborhood. A coach who inspires, teaches, and motivates. We have our knuckleheads like everybody does, but these are beautiful children. A team searching for answers while trying to move forward with J.J. Clavo forever in their hearts. Sometimes you worry that that driving force, you know, will be your own letdown because you know, I don't want these kids to feel they need to do anything. They just need to play hard. A community on the men. They hope to lay JJ to rest on November 28th. Until then, the team getting ready for their playoff game against Granite Bay. At Grand High School, Michelle Dapper, KCRA 3 News. The playoffs continue for the Pacers as they host Granite Bay on Saturday. Kickoff set for 6 p.m.